Documenting process provides for easy identification of areas for improvement and automation, providing the awareness you need to make major decisions in your digital transformation journey with confidence. Today I'll be showing you how to map a process in ProMap. To start to create a process, hover over Processes and click Create a Process. Now select the group that you want the process to be stored in. Provide a title or name for the process. Assign a process owner. After entering the process expert, provide your objective. Your objective should be descriptive of the process. Background is optional. Select Create. After selecting Create, you will be brought to the edit of the procedure. Select Add Activity. Provide a name for the activity. Now assign a role. Roles are pre-populated by your ProMaster. Now select Save. If we select the Map tab, you can see that our process map is automatically being generated. Clicking the activity opens the activity layer. Let's go back to Edit. Now we'll add an image. Multiple types of attachments can be associated with an activity or a task. Forms, guides, images, information, policy, training, even videos and web links. Items that have been attached to an activity are then available under the Documents tab. As you can see, associating documents of various types with various activities is a really easy process within ProMap. Try to start your process with a verb. Notes are a great way to provide further information to the user. In this instance, we have notes that indicate who should be the process owner. Choose the person who will be responsible for the quality of the process. Who should be the process expert? Choose someone who uses the process on a day-to-day -day basis. When writing your process, try to write your process so it is quickly and easily understood by those performing it. Check out these techniques for writing good processes. There's a link right within the activity. I've embedded a link directly in the activity so that you can easily reference this document. Our final activity is to publish the process. Accomplish this by switching to the Summary tab and changing the process state to Published. Added an image within the activity so that you can see what this action looks like. And that's how you publish a process. In closing, I hope you've learned a little bit more about how to use an Intex Pro Map. And if you need any more help, please reach out via the process map activity that contains my contact information. I've included the process map as part of this blog post. You can find an embedded link at the bottom.